Hello fellow book addicts, Megan here, and time for another book view. So, today I am going to be talking about Spiritbound by Rochelle Mead. This is the second to last book in the Vampire Academy series. So, just so you know, this review is going to be full of spoilers, so if you have not read this far in the series yet, click away now and come back when you catch up, because you will be spoiled, and that's not cool. So, let's get right to it, shall we? So, we pick up where Rose is just about to start her trials, which is like... The equivalent to senior finals in the academy, basically all the down peers who are graduating have to go through this obstacle course trying to save Amaroy from Strigoi, and these marks basically affect who they might be assigned to once they are official guardians. Now Rose is given kind of an extra challenge for her final since she has real life experience staking Strigoi. She needs to be giving a little extra oomph in her trial just to show that she is as badass as they think she is which she is she passes with flying colors because she is rose hathaway you know and in this book she's dating adrian which i like you know she's giving him a chance like she promised and they seem pretty happy together and unfortunately for rose once she graduates she's not gonna be able to hide out at the academy anymore she is either gonna be at the court or outside wards which is what Dimitri is hoping, he survived, as we find out in the previous book, the attempt staking that Rose did. So he's still alive, and he's waiting for his chance to swoop in and kill her. So she's worried about that. She also found out in the last book that there is a possible way to bring Strigoi back to life, to how they were before they were turned. So she wants to kind of pursue that, and Lissa's going to help her, because Lissa is Lissa, and they need a spirit user to do this, and she's a spirit user. So, there we go. So, Rose passes, and all, her, as well as all the other now guardian novices, turn, are brought to the court, so that they can go through all this jazz, trying to get assignments and all that. And there's only one assignment Rose wants, of course. She wants to be Lissa's guardian. And she's worried that all of the black marks on her record are going to keep that from happening. But she's also hoping that her high marks on her trials, as well as her history of being able to stake Strigoi pretty damn well, is going to help her out. Now, there's a lot of stuff going on in this book. A lot. The queen is starting to be a little more friendly towards Rose, which she takes as a good sign. But then we find out that the queen is up to something. She passes this stupid age law where guardians now graduate at 16 instead of 18. And along with Roy, I think, oh, it's two year difference. That's not a big deal. Whatever. But all the guardians are just like, no, that is a huge deal. A lot of us die even when we do graduate at 18. What? Sending 16 year olds off to fight Strigoi? That's. That's gonna kill off their race so much faster. And once the down pairs are gone, who's gonna protect the Maroi? And they. Um, and they use Rose as an example. Look, she killed all these Strigoi before she turned 18. I'm sure if we up the training for the students more, focus more on combat instead of, like, academics, they'll be ready in time. No problem. No problem. But, I find Roy who supports this age law, I want to punch in the frickin' face. Oh my god. Sending 16-year-olds? 16-year-olds off to fight these bloodthirsty superhuman monsters? What? So Rose is furious at this, especially since she was used as proof to support that this age law is a good idea. Also, backtracking a bit, Dimitri was brought back from being a Strigoi. We found out that for a Strigoi to be brought back, a spirit user has to stake them with a charmed spirit stake, which Lissa does, and she manages to stake Dimitri with the help of Christian in awesomeness. And also backtracking, because I'm being very out of order here. In order to find this out, they have to break Victor out of this really high-tech, really high-security Maroi prison. And they meant to kind of give an anonymous tip to the Guardians so let them know, like, hey, we found this guy for you. And have them come and bring him back to prison. 
But he escapes, along with his brother, who is a spirit user, who told them how to save Strigoi. And now they're off in hiding, and Rose is just like, Crap! I just got us all in trouble for leaving the courts, broke out a very dangerous criminal, and now he's free. Whoops. So, there's quite a bit going on in relationships, too. Christian and Lissa are getting along more. Their relationship was really rocky slash non-existent in the last book, after the last book, because of all the drama that went on then. And they're slowly realizing, yeah, we're both stupid, let's get back together. And now with Dimitri back, Rose is kind of torn between him and Adrian, which is kind of causing some drama there. Though Adrian does understand to a point, after a while, which is nice. But I have a feeling things are not going to work out that well. So now I'm skipping to the end. I know I'm leaving out a lot of details because of reasons. I don't want to spoil the entire thing for everybody. So at the end, I was kind of freaking out a bit. The queen has been assassinated and Rose is the prime suspect because of all sorts of evidence pointing towards her. We know it isn't her, but you know what? In this kind of case, the Mariah wants a quick trial in putting the criminal away and taking care of the whole mess ASAP which is stupid because they are rushing things and that is not a good thing to do in this kind of situation but they don't care so we end the book with Rose being locked away and yeah things are gonna be really intense so I'm sorry this review was kind of rushed I am very scatterbrained right now so yeah so, that's it for today's book review, and I will see you guys next time with the final book of the Vampire Academy series. Dun dun dun!